in Atlanta and now officially with us here on NFL Total Access. I was going to make this a one-on-one, -on -one, and then I remember David Thanks also played quarterback me, in the this NFL and his brother plays in the division. So we thought the three of us could have yeah, some fun. But, chat. Kirk, congratulations. Yes, what do you man, love privilege. about this fit in Atlanta? Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Um, this is a great opportunity for me. It's a great organization. I just look around at the roster and see a lot of ability. I think it's also a place where when you see the owner, the head coach, and the general manager all on the same page, really trusting each other, I think that bodes well for success. So I uh, couldn't be more excited about the fit. And now it's time to get to work because as a free agent, there's so much I need to learn. And we got to make up for lost time. Yeah, talk about that a little bit, the, the work and the process for, you know, this is the third team, but it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's new, right? The players are new, the scheme, right, the verbiage. What's the first step? for a franchise quarterback going in. I know Derek going through this when he went to New Orleans. There's a lot that goes into it. I love that you brought that up as, as your first order of business. It's not going out and finding a house. It's not All that stuff's going to take care of itself. you got to make sure you're the leader of the team. Talk a little bit about that process. Yeah, I think it starts with building relationships. We road tripped yesterday from Michigan, from my hometown, down to Atlanta. Took about love a day it. and a half. And I just spent most of the time in the, in the car making phone calls. Certainly a few goodbyes from Minnesota, but mostly calls introducing myself to people in Atlanta and trying to get to know the lay of the land and talk to teammates and just begin the process of building relationships, knowing that there's so much more work to do up ahead. And then now that I'm finally in this building tonight, uh, able to you know start my rehab here, start watching tape, uh, and just keep taking steps to learn this system and learn my teammates and learn this building and how this organization works so that I can be the best quarterback possible this fall. Now, Kirk, you suffered a torn right Achilles back in October. You had surgery. You mentioned the rehab process and, and aiming to get back to 100%. Can we expect you to be all ready to go come the season opener here in September? I have no reason to think otherwise. Everything's been up and to the right with the rehab so far. We're a little over four months in. I probably got a few months still to go, but my hope and expectation is that uh, – uh, even before we break for the summer, that I'd be able to join practices and go full speed. And, uh, you know, the beauty of, of being a quarterback is you already wear a, a jersey in practice that says you can't be hit. And so it kind of gives <laughs> you the ability to get into a lot of stuff. And seven on seven should be very doable even right now if it had to be. So I'm excited to get those reps in, need those reps, and uh, uh, just chomping at the bit to get started. Yeah, you talk about those reps and some of the components and, the, and the, the pieces that you have to play with on this offense. Different than Minnesota, but also some unique pieces. Kyle Pitts, some guys we've taken. Kimmy's talked about him on uh, fantasy football forever. Is forever. he going to be the guy? Like, So when you look at these components at this football team, do you get excited? Are you trying to learn more of the playbook and kind of get ingrained there? Or do you let your mind wander a little bit to what Kyle Pitts or Drake Leonard or some of these pieces Bijan Robinson could bring to this football team? I think it's both. I think you certainly got to know the system inside and out, but you better believe you got to know your teammates. You got to know what they do well. Uh, you got to know how you can help them, uh, how you can elevate their game, help take them to the next level. And in talking with them, that's what I sense is they're hungry. They want to learn. They're humble. They want to get better uh, and they'll do whatever it takes. And they, they already, I can tell, uh, are willing to trust me. And so that's a great step in the process. And uh, I'm excited to work with them. I do think we have a lot of weapons and uh, we just got to keep stacking up days as we build towards the season. Now, the NFC South. Ah, yes. David's got a smile on his face. Now you get to go against his brother. Thanks Derek for making it tougher, Kirk. A year. I know Cam Jordan's going to try to come after you, but Baker Mayfield just resigning with the Bucks. You got Bryce Young headed into his sophomore season. What do you feel about your peers in this division? Yeah, I think it's a division on the rise. I think everybody got better this offseason. Um, I know the Saints got better because I know several of the coaches they hired, and uh, I would think, you know, I've been a free agent before. I know what that transition can be like, and I would think Derek in his second year will be all the better for that time on task together, the continuity he's built. And so, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a dogfight like it always is in this league, and I expect the NFC South to be no different this coming year. Well, I just want to say thanks for making it a lot tougher on my brother to get where he wants to go. So I know, I know you're going to do a fantastic job, and that's why I have that feeling because I know you're a great quarterback. You deserve everything that you got, Atlanta. I'm happy for you, man. God bless you. Godspeed, bro. Go get it. Did you hear from Derek? Was he like, damn it? Oh, it's always like that. He's like, Kirk? I'm like, yes, yes, Kirk's going to be there. So it'll be fun. Well, Kirk, thanks so much for stopping by. Congratulations and best of luck in the 2024 season.